All right, John in Oklahoma got your new George FCC all ready to send off to you Tuesday. I believe Mon is Monday the holiday? Yeah, it is. So, or wait, I'm trying to think. Yeah, it must be. My days are kind of scrambled because of these holiday weeks. My work schedule gets different, so I have to think about things. Um, yeah, today's Sunday, so yeah, tomorrow's Monday. Jeez, oh, Pete. Anyways, uh, yeah, this will ship out to you on Tuesday. So I'm just trying to keep my uh, bearing straight on what days I work this week. Uh, normally I'd be uh, calling it a day here if it was a normal Sunday, but it's not. I'm off tomorrow also because of New Year's Day. So, all right. I uh, hope everybody else is too, but one thing to remember is there are people that have to work on these holidays, so we have to think about them, and you know, there are certain jobs and stuff that they don't quit just because of holidays, and a lot of those are really important jobs, so there's a lot of people that aren't as fortunate, and they sacrifice a lot to be away from their family and their friends and everything on holidays, so just think about that sometimes when you're enjoying the time and having fun with your friends and family on the holidays and the weekends and stuff, because there's a lot of people that still work on weekends and everything else too so um moving along here i got your radio all set uh did the little bit of alignment that you can do to it so that part is done basically uh pretty straightforward radio a lot of the stuff that you'll learn is right in the book the book instruction book from presidents are are very detailed and very well written so shouldn't have any issues uh, learning that stuff. Um, I'm still kind of learning this as I go. That's why I'm not really wanting to like show a lot of stuff because I may show it wrong. So you know, until I get more situated with actually sitting and using my own, um, I'm gonna refrain from trying to show a lot of stuff because you know I'm still learning it probably like the rest of you guys will. So obviously I know how to use it in the basic formality but there's other things that you need to reference the book and stuff for so i'm gonna do that myself i'm not ashamed to say that so we're gonna look at am first and plug in the audio cable that's our transmit frequency that's excellent and we're looking here at the oscilloscope here's the spectrum analyzer and 20 kilohertz is that um yeah channel 20 Markers right at 205, 3.99 watts there. It's actually a little over four. On the peak side, it's 3.99. So I don't know why there's a little bit of a difference there, but there always is just a very small difference from the peak to the RMS. So take that for what it is. I still think the meter is highly accurate. Um, it caught a really high peak there at 24 so what I like to do is go to the faster this is the tune setting and then it starts to register a little more accuracy then you switch over to the peak hold and <coughs> that's what you got there about 14.99 is the peak hold so this is the waveform right here it's really nice really nice typical waveform there and this is what it looks like up here, really nice. No issues there whatsoever. Uh, if I lower the power down to about half, you can see the peak drops to, with the one kilohertz tone, to about eight something. The average is about five, high fives at times. And then the peak is about eight something there on the hold. So you can see everything kind of dropped with it is how these work and then the low power side is here you see everything dropped down there I uh, can enlarge this and look at it still looks really good all the way through um, now the peak is about three something average is about two something peak hold 3.24 so the carrier here should be close to one give that a second to refresh there's one about one and then all the way up is four actually right at about four there so one to four on am fm is the same one to four 
I'll go to single sideband here. Plug that cable back in. Let me make one change to the first tone. Here's our two tones mixing to show our waveform. It looks really good. Make that a little bit smaller. However you want to look at it, it looks really good. Uh, here's this up here. It's really good there too. You really can't ask for anything better there. This is the upper sideband, so the power is traveling that way. Um, Power-wise, it's at about 12 something. Average is at about six, almost seven. 12.67, 12.87. So, right where it should be, outstanding. I'll uh, put the microphone on it and test that out really quick, and then I'll show the receive because I don't think I showed that yet. All right, so we got the mic on here, and this is the mic. I could use the president mic. I used that uh, during the testing a little bit. I prefer this mic. So we're going to show you the power on sideband. This is with the RF power all the way up. So with it all the way up, just speaking into a microphone with normal voice, it's doing uh, high 20s there. Like So far that's what they've all done. And around the high 20 mark, so that's really nice. You know, it's a good performer. Um, you know, you can use this and match this up with quite a bit of extra uh, radio equipment if that's something you're into, I guess, you know. There's not a whole lot of limitation with this one. It's not too much, and sometimes that too much can be um, kind of disheartening for some some pieces of equipment that need a little less, and this radio is going to offer that. So there's that. Um, I would assume that, you know, if you use your RF power, like I've shown before, it's going to go down to about half here. So I'm just going to skip that and go right to the very bottom power level, just to show what it does on the bottom here. So on the bottom it's about a 5 watt radio. So there's that. And go to AM. Are we still in the bottom? Yes. So we'll just show that first. Right at about a watt on the bottom and then speaking into the microphone here. Um, it's going to be somewhere between like 2 and 3 point something usually is what it comes out to. It's not it's not a really strong performer at the lower power level, but uh, I don't, like I said, I don't think too many are going to really, really run it here. So it's still going to sound good here. You're just not going to see a lot of power out of it. So have to keep that in mind, it starts to get a little more responsive at about level, I think about level three. Actually about level five, I'm sorry. Level three was for sideband. <coughs> I did pair this up uh, for a customer with one of these. Uh, we can see one of those, and it paired up really nice. But uh, I found that with one of those, it was level five on AM and level three on SSB. And what I mean by level is the RF power level. When I say level, I mean level of five on AM and SSB was like a three. So it worked pretty good. Safe to run, I think, if you're into something like that. Um, so we'll show level 5 here, 2.5 or so on the carrier, 2.5, so it gets a little more responsive around there, then you're going to see upwards of, you know, between 8 to 10 to 12, somewhere in that range, it kind of just depends, but right now we're seeing, yeah, just like I said, so it kind of fluctuates a little bit, so I've done a little testing on these, you know, I've used, to, used it a little bit more than, um, maybe I've shown and stuff like that so I'm kind of getting used to how they perform uh, after you make the few adjustments that you can make to them they usually all do seems like about the same so far so so far so good you know I'm happy with what I'm seeing it's like a nice clean radio so and then if I turn up the AM all the way to level 10 which is right there uh, here's level 10 right here. So level 10 is going to give you a little more peak power from that 4 watt dead key, which you would expect that to do. And you know, it's somewhere in the 20s. Usually it falls in some place in the mid 20s to low 20s. Depending on what you say and everything, it's going to fluctuate a little bit. So 24 right there is what we're seeing, 26. So normal for a radio stack like this, it's just a nice uh, 
fluid uh, motion. It's not all the way cranked wide open and all that. And I'm not screaming, yelling into the mic or anything. So what we're seeing is, is a good output level for AM. And uh, you can fully control that, which is nice if you want to run something that needs less input. It's easily done. All right, here's the receive. So this is uh, minus 67 dBm. 30% modulation right on S9, so that's a good sign. Then for the 12 dB Synad, it's fallen in at about 112.70, which is really good. So the last one was the same, so I think that's about where they're all going to fall in here. All right, there is right around S9 on sideband. Now that's not adjustable, so um it is just a little bit before nine but uh it's very close so this is minus 67 dbm also um you guys can hear that annoying loud tone in the background so i'm gonna turn that down just a little bit over here because i get tired of hearing that so we're gonna lower the level come up here and look Welched ourself out, but it just happened, so. There's about minus 106 right there, so. Right around 106. Look, the camera is like fluctuating. So. Maybe a little more gain on the 10 meter radios, but still not too bad. Maybe just a little hair less than that, actually. There's 105, 125, I'm sorry, 125.4, somewhere in there. So still a really respectable receiver. Uh, say 125.5. So all in all, it's working really good. And it's about an S1 signal there, so... Um, you know, weak signal, still going to hear it really easily. So I think it's uh, very impressive for a modern CB radio. Better than I've seen from anything else so far. So hopefully they keep continuing to produce this and it's around for a long time because I think it's a really nice one. So we're going to get this one ready to send off to you Tuesday. I hope you have a good New Year and hope you had a Merry Christmas and all that stuff. And we'll catch everybody later. 73.